everybody welcome back to the hobby lodge so today i'm going to be doing a bit of a game review of one of my latest pickups from cytronics games now it turns out i own like 30 games from cytronics now <laughs> and by the way i'm in no way affiliated or involved with them in any way i've bought their games since january um just because i discovered them through the help of some friends in the community the retro community uh, they put me onto this this company that does homebrew games for the commodore 64 and I thought I'd start picking them up. And uh, yeah, ever since I've been getting some of them, I absolutely love them. I've been picking up more and more. So the latest one I picked up, and you may see it on the screen behind me, uh, is Yompi 64. So uh, this feels very much like a, a trailblazer type game. You are a ball and you're trying to get around a maze. But this one is rotating and moving and there's, there's kind of things you can interact with in the screen and we'll jump into some gameplay in a bit and i'll show you um but uh yeah um i was a big fan of games like trailblazer on the commodore 64 i really like that sort of puzzle solving and speed element and all those bits that kind of as a game that you keep going back to one more go one more go see if i can get further see if i can get further so uh yeah really glad to uh, get that going apologies uh by the way i've got a bit of a cold not not the not the bad one just just a cold so uh if i sound a bit nasally then uh, i apologize for that but yes i'll show you that i'll show you what's in the box or in the case um and then you can take a look but yeah once again from these guys at cytronics amazing quality you know for i think 14.99 for the premium disc edition you can pay 8.99 i think for the tape um but they are fantastic quality really impressed with them really uh they do a great job with this stuff so there we go there is the case i've also got the door open it's a very hot day in the uk at the moment um so again if you're in the outside noise i apologize we'll get through this don't worry um yes but anyway yomp 64 there is the case nice piece of artwork on the front tells you exactly what the game's about there's no way you're looking at that and not knowing what this game is about that's always good to know uh, there is the back they're nice and colorful uh anything i want to pick out on the back there so it looks like it was it's a recreation of a an original game called yomp on the atari xlxe an indie arcade game yomp so there we go uh, 23 dimensional textured tubes to guide your ball through the so 23 levels essentially it works on the commodore 64 or 128 it's pow it requires a controller i'm using a joystick works fine um but yeah let me uh, let me open up and have a look inside so uh, I've gone for the disc edition. I'm really in love with having the disc drive for the Commodore 64. I had one as a kid. So that additional nostalgia of not only having a C64, but also having the disc drive for the C64 really does it for me. So I'm picking up as much as I can on the disc. But of course, the tapes are great as well. And the nice benefit you get with tape, of course, you get the speed of loading with disc. But with tape, you get to listen to some awesome tunes while your game's loading. So that's kind of a, it's a bit of a payoff. But here we go. Here's the disc. And it's exactly as you expect from these guys. Nice quality label. I mean, the disc is just a black disc, um, but uh, you know you've got the you've got the little um, leaflet for it to go in, and obviously a nice quality label on the actual disc. And of course, with inside, I'll I'll take the whole piece out so you can see it. So these guys, you know, they don't scrimp on anything. It's not just blank on the inside. On the inside of the actual uh, sort of uh, cover art, you've got sort of more cover art. Uh, I guess yeah it's nothing stopping you rotating i'm not sure why you would but you could uh, and obviously the instructions on how to load the game not that if you're watching this you probably don't know how to load games uh, and as always so you don't even get a modern games today a nice little instruction manual so to guide you through how to play the game what to do a bit of background into the game there's some nice reading stuff you to get on with uh loading the game introduction the various power-ups you're going to see whilst you're bouncing through these tubes and uh yeah some credits so uh yeah really nice really nicely put together as always from these guys you know 14.99 for the disc version i would highly recommend the premium disc versions of all of their games i've not had a single dud um and even the tapes the tapes are brilliant as well and one thing i will say about cytronics is their customer service is fantastic so in the one occasion where i've had a dud tape um i contacted them and within minutes uh they were like no problem at all we'll send you another tape so uh you know i can not again not affiliated not getting asked to do this or anything um but i'll i'll say how it is and uh these guys 
look after you when you buy stuff from them so yeah let's get over to the table let's get it on the Commodore 64 it's already fired up as you see i need to put the disc back in otherwise it's going to moan at me um but we're we're going to play all right see you in a sec so this is yonky 64 here we are okay so for the main menu here you've got start game music or sound effects you can't have them both so you know, choose your poison uh, i'm going to play with music on of course because i want to hear that sid chip from the c64 singing away um but uh, yeah you could choose the sound effects if you want to have a different experience maybe uh, and then password at the bottom there each time you complete a level it's going to give you a password that you can choose to jump back uh, to that last level you made it so given there's 23 of them you wouldn't want to start from level one each time because obviously level one is going to be super easy and you're going to have to go through all those levels grind your way through to get to the one you're stuck on so but we are going to start from level one let's crack on now it is a multi-load game so every time there's a new level it does take a moment to load now on the disk drive it takes about five to six seconds to load a level that may obviously vary on tape but uh yeah let's see okay so here we go we enter the tunnel and i start bouncing i can move left to right using the joystick uh, and I obviously want to avoid the holes in the ground to, to make it through the tube. There are power-ups on the floor. So you can see there I hit that big uh, arrow. And that big arrow did a big jump for me rather than my usual bounce. But otherwise, I'm making my way around the tunnel to avoid falling through gaps. There are all sorts of tiles in this game. There are tiles that will pause the game. So you maybe have to get yourself into a better position. There's tiles like the one I just hit there, which is the earthquake tile, which disorientates you for a second. Uh, there are slow down tiles, speed up tiles, forced maneuver tiles that will force you left or right. Uh, there are, well, yeah, it's definitely disorientating. Um, lots and lots of tiles I haven't even seen yet, but they are all shown in the actual manual. Um, but yeah, the idea is keep on bouncing and get through the level. Now, this one obviously being level one, it's going to be fairly simple. Um, I don't think I've fouled on this one yet, but you know, it's going to be a first as I'm trying to talk and uh, guide my way through it. Uh, yeah. Oh, this one, that one does a lighter or darker. It can actually make the tunnel change colour, uh, which might again disorientate you if you don't recognise a block. So, yeah, loads and loads of tiles, really cool music. The music's got a bit of a beat to it, which obviously helps with your beat. The ball is beating as well each time it hits down. Um, but there we go, level one complete. So, yeah, as you can see, it's loading again. I can hear the disk drive whirring up. But, again, five to six seconds is, is no time at all, right? That's the password for that level, so I can skip past it in the future. Here we go. So, the next level. New bit of music and a bit more trickery. There we go. I messed that up big time. I should have gone to the left. Now, obviously, over time, you will start to learn some of these levels and learn where to go and what to do. But uh, yeah, let's go. It is fairly, I won't say pixel perfect, but it is fairly unforgiving. So, if you think you're going to clip the corner of a box uh, and make that jump, you probably aren't. You need to land pretty good in, within the within the limits of the square. Um, you know. The only thing I wish the game maybe had was an ability to push forward. Because if I, ah, let's see, I just clipped the edge of that box. Now in theory, I reckon I hit that one. Um, but like I say, it's unforgiving as far as it's concerned. I missed. Um, yes, but anyway, pushing forward to accelerate the tunnel would be really useful because I do believe that once you get better and better at these, you will be able to go through some of the levels fairly fast. And it'd be nice to be able to accelerate for some of the less trickier parts of the tunnel, you know. So, uh, yeah, but otherwise, uh, it's one of these games that you just want to keep coming back to and doing one more time because as you get good at it, you're going to want to try and progress. Uh, works perfectly with the joystick. I imagine you can use a controller, but these types of games, this is what the joysticks were designed for. And using the left and right, um, holding onto the stick, it's it's perfect. Yeah, so super responsive. I've got like I'm not feeling any lag between my choice of direction and the game reacting. So from that point of view, it's super positive. It feels clear, but also could get confusing, which I think is part of the game as it speeds up, as things start to happen, you're gonna get slightly disorientated. But uh, that I think is genuinely all part of how the game is played. 
Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll do a couple of levels and we'll give you an insight into the game uh, and hopefully you enjoy it. I must apologise if you get any crackling on the audio. I think I need to upgrade some of my cables. Um, I have noticed a few little sound defects, which we know aren't the C64, because the C64 sounds amazing. Uh, and is more my audio and game capture. Because I am running this through natively out of the Commodore 64, into an upscaler, through a, uh, <laughs> a dual um, output, so I can put it on my TV and through the capture card. I think somewhere along the line I may be losing a little bit of quality of sound. So hopefully this isn't impacting your ability to watch the video or view on the game. Because native, just running straight the game is, sounds awesome and looks great. Yeah, I can hear the odd crackle every now and then. I do apologise. But yeah, this is pretty trippy, right? This feels like uh, the, one of the bonus levels in a Sonic game, where you used to run up and down the sides to get the rings. There we go, another level done. So we'll do one more, and then uh, we'll call it there. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of the game, and, and do you own it yourself? Do you consider picking it up? Um, is it like for you games like Trailblazer and things like that? Obviously Trailblazer is a lot more on a flat, um, but it, is, it can get quite fast that game. Um, do you like, the, like these kind of games? Oh, that was a bit of a weird one. I'm not sure what that power up was. Although not, I wouldn't say they're power ups, I'd say they're just more trying to disrupt your play. Because I don't think any of them are super helpful. So we've got some slaloning going on here. Nice. Big jump coming up. Might go up to the side here. Go around the roof. Back round again. Yeah, I, I do apologize for that crackling. I can hear it more and more now. It was behaving itself a second ago, but now it seems to be doing it a bit more. It's not worth me trying to re-record this because I need to probably pick up some new audio cables or something. But, uh, hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying it without the... That's not getting too much in the way. So you do get into a bit of a groove. I'm feeling the game now. Like as I'm bouncing around, I'm kind of feeling like I'm more into it. Do you know what I mean? Or does that sound like nonsense? But yeah, this is one of those games that as you start to play it more and more, you will start to feel it. Oh, that yeah, was close. Oh, oh, oh no, that was an opposites cube. It made my left turn go right. Um, right, I'm not going to continue. I'm going to let that bounce away. Uh, and I'm going to head back over and, and wrap this up. But I hope you enjoyed that. Well, there you go. That was a quick look at Yompy 64. We made it to level four. Uh, things were starting to get a bit rough, uh, so yeah, um, this is going to be a game that's going to be sort of uh, taxing your brain as you play. You need to memorise those levels, because if at level 4 I was struggling, I've got to get to level 23, did it say? Yeah, 23. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you saw, gave a bit of a look at the game. Um, yeah, it's over on Cytronic's website. I can highly recommend them as a company. I can highly recommend their games. Uh, I now own 30 of them, so I must like them. Uh, I'm actually going to review all of them because I haven't actually done that. Um, I've talked about getting them, but I haven't done a little review. So if you like this one and you want to see more of them, please let me know below. If you didn't, also let me know below. <laughs> I would like to kind of go through the ones that I really liked. And, and this one only came today, so I thought I'd get it on and, and show you. So yeah, Yompy64, check it out if you wish. I hope you liked the vid. If you did, give us a like. Um, consider subscribing. Um, I stream on YouTube and on Twitch as well, so you can check out those. I'll stick some links below if you want. But uh, yeah, I'll see you soon, all right? Bye.